I used to work in the finance industry and I found it um, creatively stifling to the point that I kind of just didn't really think about having ideas anymore. And it wasn't until I left that that I realised how much that had closed down in me. And now it's what I love most about doing this is just that it's mine and I get to do what I like with it. And I get to invent the silly words and decide what happens creatively and decide the boundaries of what's what's funny and what isn't funny and what's what's rude and what's aggressive. The impression that it gives and the humour that's attached, I'm quite protective of, of that because that's really why I like doing it. It makes me laugh still on my own. <laughs> For a words person, I get a lot of inspiration from the visual, I think, because particularly drawing and illustration, because I, I can't do that. So um, I really I like the way that it makes me feel different to just reading words. I really particularly like illustration because it feels very um, personal. And um, one of my friends who has been involved in the process is definitely um, an inspiration because um, her mind works in a particularly warped way. And uh, yeah, I, I love her pictures. And she's also led me to know other people who illustrate really well. And I love looking at their stuff because it feels so, it, I guess it's because it's not words and because it's something I can't do creatively myself. It feels like a little holiday. You know, the break that you need to come up with new stuff is looking at, at other people's things that you maybe can't produce yourself. Because I am a words person, I want to kind of be coming up with original things in the words. And I think I've been doing that. Um, and that's kind of the most important thing for me. I'm never going to be someone who creates these sort of towers of beautiful pastel coloured buttercreams. I'm always just going to be a words person who's having fun on biscuits.